हाई वेलकम टू डे सिक्स ऑफ थर्टी डेज ऑफ ए आई इन टेस्टिंग चैलेंज एंड माई टू डेज चैलेंज वॉज टू एक्सप्लोर एंड शेयर इन साइट्स ऑन ए आई टेस्टिंग टूल सो टिल नाउ वी आर बिन लर्निंग अलॉट अबाउट ए आई एंड डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ पॉसिबिलिटीज टू यूज ए आई टूल्स टू असिस्ट अस इन टेस्टिंग बट टूडे वॉज द फर्स्ट टाइम वेन वी हैड टू रियली एक्सप्लोर ए आई टूल्स सो the task was to select a testing need find tools for that analyze those tools and then share the findings so findings in terms of overview of tool key possible capabilities and the perspective how this tool can help me and like why it interest me and 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 so on so i started with uh, this exploration and i have summarized my entire activity through this mind map so just to start with i'll just share the context so the context is uh this activity was done as a part of day 6 of 30 days of ai in testing challenge and uh, i am the participant rahul parwal and the first tool that i have found it was a testing assistant so what i created was a testing as uh, i mean Uh, i was looking for a tool for uh, assisting me with testing and i found this test craft which is a ai tool ai power tool available for free and uh, it helps with three main things so first is generate test ideas second is generate accessibility checks evaluate the status of accessibility standards and levels on your website or different uh, elements and then it even assists in generating test code which is a powerful functionality so if we see this uh, uh, it supports multiple languages and test tools uh, like cypress playwright javascript typescript and it supports uh, generating code use with pom or uh, which is like page objects or without page objects and so on so uh, all in all pretty powerful test tool now let's look at this test tool and how it uh, works out so this is testcraft it's available on chrome web store so anybody who uses chrome or edge can practically install it and then it will be available here now what you have to do like uh, suppose take any sample site so i would take my own sample site which is rahul's testing kitbits and uh, let's say i want to test this my blog button so what i have to do i have to like click on this pick element select this element it has selected this element which it tells me and now if i can ask it to generate test ideas and this pop up will be generated which will generate positive tests negative test and even some creative scenarios now i, I could like copy this to clipboard and edit it out or try that out and play around and mark uh, what i have done so it's a powerful exploratory testing assistant i mean of course it gives you some ideas but these are powerful ideas and then you can al always extend upon it so it's i see its role more as an assistant similarly for checking the accessibility so like let's see if we pick this element and select the home button so it selected this and now i could uh, check for accessibility and similarly it will check the accessibility levels for different conformance accessibility standards a double a triple a and what could be improved what are what is the problem what is the solution and so on and the last part is uh, i could even use this to do some automation so let me pick another element which is uh, let's say this uh, button and uh, when i go here i could select that i am going to it in play write javascript and automate and once i do that it it, it also writes some code for me so now this is uh, ai powered available for free and does all these three operations and pretty powerful so i love this tool going back to the second tool that that i found which is which was for my learning need and this is the alt unlimited youtube summarizer so it's a power learning tool it's available for free again saves time and i mean it's good for quick summary so a lot of time people gives us references especially for me i get a lot of references that watch this tool watch this youtube video and uh, sometimes there are the videos are too long and i need to check that do i need to invest time or what is the crux the person is trying to say so for that I, uh, this tool is pretty powerful and uh, what this tool supports so it's it's uh, it supports uh, summary generation for youtube videos available just like the previous uh, tool it's available as a extension and for example this is my day 5 video so this is the video that i did yesterday and if i want to like create a summary of it i just have to open this and click on the summary button 
and the moment i click on the summary button my summary will start getting created and i can even view it right live by clicking on this chat open ai button which will take me to this prompt where it has automatically sent all the task transcription to this and now ai tells that what am i trying to say and what is the summary so anybody who probably doesn't want to uh certainly invest time in this video can actually just get a gist out of it and if a video is relevant then watch it so or i mean sometimes summaries help too so now this is another powerful tool and uh, now i want to talk, talk about the third powerful tool which i found today which is codium which was a scripting assistant ai powered uh, good part it's also available for free for a single user it supports this auto code auto completion which is a powerful feature and modern ids give that and along with that it gives you a live code writer and then multiple trained code base models so without uh, talking much about this I'll, i just want to give a very quick uh, demo so this codium it's it's a more of a modern coding superpower so anyhow i mean ai llms have made coding easy but this has made coding more easy so what it uh, does is you could like try it in a browser and uh, give out code like uh in python javascript go java c++ and the moment you you write a code it will start giving you suggestions and then you can accept them or reject them and similar things can happen another thing that that it supports is it gives you this code bases so there are like trained code bases that that it gives you and uh, it can you you can <coughs> use any of that so there are dedicated code bases trained for pytorch react and so on i mean and this is like no context chat and this bun is another powerful thing so that's that's about it and then you can probably give it a, a problem statement for example write a test script to validate the file names formats as dot zip or dot txt and uh, then it searches for possible paths and then starts writing that using regex and so on so uh, pretty powerful uh, tool and uh, different kind of code bases available and you can use this to do all that live coding and stuff like that for free even the extensions are available so pretty powerful tool and uh, that's all that that was my summary of what uh, i learned as part of uh, the day 6 of 30 days of ai in testing challenge uh, stay tuned uh, do share your feedback and uh, i think these are powerful tools that you would also like to explore and uh, i would be coming with more such tools more such learnings on ai in the coming days so stay tuned thank you for watching this bye